It was cooking in Miami. All right. This is a team that they needed this win. Nikola Jovic has had like here and there games where it makes people get all nice and good feelings in their bones whenever he has a good game like this one. 40% from three. 22 points. Five rebounds. Two assists. At this point, we agree he's a forward. I don't know necessarily what we're expecting from him. has had a great game too. But, you know, I think the... The biggest thing we're seeing is just the growth of the young guys who are going to have to play a big part in the play-in and in the playoffs. And Jovic this season has averaged 9 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.5 and assists in 37 games as a starter. And he's getting starter minutes this year, which is huge. That's what they needed. He's a good 3-point shooter who stretches the floor, can do a little bit of passing, won't set the world on fire. But he does what needs to be done for this Heat team. And at 6'10", he's a big body that helps this, this group out. And as we we get closer to the playoffs, I think Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Bam, Terry Rozier, those, those are going to be your main cats. You got Duncan Robinson, Jaime Hawkins, right there. That's like six good dudes. You still got Caleb Martin. All right, you still got Kevin Love. That's pretty cool. All right, and when you look right there, that's eight dudes. And then you get to Nikola Jovic, nine dudes, and they don't even play that deep. And they still have the lawn right on their team. Okay, that's 10 dudes. They have Haywood Eisman. That's 11 dudes. And if they need, they can break the glass and pull out Thomas Bryant. That's 12 dudes. And they still have Patty Mills. That's 13 dudes. It's just crazy the type of roster that they have. And I know we they haven't turned it on. I just imagine the playoffs. And tonight we got to see Hami Hakez be the, the passer that they needed him to be. <laughs> In the sense that he came out here, dropped nine assists. It was, it was amazing. And it, people don't realize if you watched them in college, you knew how Miyakis could do this. He's that type of passer. Always been that kind of guy. So for me, I think it's been one of the more exciting performances when you saw like, the Heat tonight because it, it was indicative of just the talent that this team has on their roster as I blew air out of my cheek. And I'm excited to see what they're going to be capable of doing because this might very well be a team that is going to go deep in the playoffs, whether you like it or not. And I'm excited to see how that all plays out. And if you're a Heat fan, what's your biggest expectation with this? I, you know, we're still trying to figure out what the rotation is going to be. We all knew what happened last year. We all know they don't turn it on to the playoffs. So this is continuing Pat Riley in the Heat, just giving the middle finger to Adam Silver. And saying we ain't gonna play competitive regular season basketball till we die. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz. I'm gonna head out and yeah, cheers.